Uh, my name is Rick Radcliffe, and I'm the Modern World History and U.S. History teacher here in the high school at Grace Community School. Uh, it is known as the Congress of Vienna Simulation, and it is designed to give the students a more hands-on, uh, kind of project learning based activity that uh, takes over the course of about a week with some days for them to prepare uh, to dive into the country that they are representing um, and to dive into understanding their national interests uh, of what historically speaking they really desire to take place at this Congress of Vienna. Right. I'm Travis Connell, I'm France and uh, my expectations is that uh, France will become part of a glorious empire made up of some different countries, um, Austria, Britain, and uh, Prussia's kind of iffy in there, but uh, we'll see. Um, hopefully France comes out on top, but I'm not going to be sore if we come in second. Um, that, that's about it. My name is Stephen Quobat. My country is Prussia, and, well, my country is not going to do well because everybody has gained up on us, but we will bring them down. Alright, my name is Jay Tanner and I'm representing the country of Russia and I'd say my expectations for this little like simulation thing are, well, we have kind of a like a little bit of an alliance with Prussia and we're trying to root against Austria and France and we have somewhat of an unspoken alliance with Britain and I hope that that will be enough for us to win. Hi, I'm Paige from Austria, and I expect a lot of my alliances to go really well, so hopefully third, second. I'm Mason, I am in Great Britain, and my expectations for the Congress of Vienna, well, I think because of some of the treaties that have been made, that probably the people that are going to come out on top will probably be Austria, Russia, and Great Britain. But I don't think it's going to be a very um, successful for anyone. Um, I think we'll probably all have lots of negative points. But I do, I do think those those countries will probably come out on top. So. Congress of Vienna being a major event that is looked at as kind of a precursor to the present day United Nations. Uh, a diplomatic meeting of multiple countries to try and solve different issues, uh, specifically with these students here uh, during the Congress of Vienna simulation uh, participated in trying to figure out what to do with different territories. And uh, the reality is if the countries cannot come to a compromise or to a solution to where nothing is being solved, there are consequences for that. Major powers, you have negative 20. You have uh, uh, one minute recess if need be. No minute. No. And and the longer it goes, consequences become greater. Um, but for each country. Uh, again, the national, understanding the national interests of your country, as well as if you can understand the national interests of the other countries, it does help in understanding the actual Congress of Vienna simulation. Now regarding uh, the actual outcome of the class, uh, I will say every year, every class, um, I personally understand what needs to take place in order for different countries to be successful, uh, but the reality is every year is different. And I, I enjoy looking in hopes that these students will become passionate about their country. And once again, I, I was able to witness a number of students becoming rather passionate about their country, which always makes it uh, more enjoyable and, and honestly, uh, makes it definitely more memorable. Um, and so, in the end, when I get to announce who it is as the winner, uh, there are those that are always surprised, and there are those that also, are, you know, are a little bit frustrated that it weren't them, or that it wasn't them. Um, and th and that's, that's good, and that's okay, uh, because that is how sometimes uh, the 
the international stage of politics goes. Sometimes one country leaves feeling really good and another country feels as though um, it didn't go their way this time. Uh, but then realizing that tomorrow is still going to come and, and understanding that it's okay if it didn't maybe go your way this time. Um, and also understanding maybe what issues uh, are non-negotiables for your country. Um, and being willing to maybe take a penalty or understand that this is the consequence if you're going to take this stand. Um, and and I, I do believe, you know, watching different alliances that were made, uh, it was fun to see how those played out and the realization that some of these alliances that some countries made really were not maybe in their best interest to actually agree to this. But also to see them actually fulfill those still their alliance and fall through with their word um, in this simulation was also uh, neat to see, uh, which which uh, you know happened um, a couple of times as well with this class. So again, uh, overall, I think my expectations of, of what was going to happen is that I would see a class with students that were passionate about their country and passionate about wanting to do well. And once again, I was able to see that and. Even though not every country came away feeling as though they won, uh, because it was not the case, uh, I do hope and believe that these students uh, enjoyed it and hopefully truly learned something about the importance and the impact of international politics um, on the grand scheme of things and, and hopefully have a good perspective on what it might take to get some things passed in the political scene. And so in the end, it was, it was definitely a memory for myself and hopefully a memory for these students that will stay with them. <laughs> no, yes, I hope, I hope you but had at least fun as this was something maybe a little out of the ordinary of your usual. Yes, maybe it was stressful at times, but I will say, as hopefully you saw from those questions and hopefully you put some thought into it, I mean, what is real life is your ability to work with others, not just on a global scale, if you ever one day get to that point, um, but also from a local scale. Uh, so, that being said, uh, hopefully you will remember the Congress of Vienna in the, in the years to come, all the good, the bad, and the ugly with it. Bye, have a good one.